the war ended, and we are going to commemorate this, especially tomorrow. But the war never ended for the comfort women, because when you have been abused to such an extent as the comfort women has, when you have been, these abuses, these atrocities will torment your mind for the rest of your life. I have always felt dirty, soiled, not worthy. I, uh, for 50 years, all the comfort women kept quiet. That's the one thing we all have in common. I couldn't talk about it to anybody. I was always afraid in case somebody found out what had happened to me. You live with this terrible shame. And going to Australia, uh, I thought, well, I'm far away from people in Holland that know it, that I was taken out of prison camp by the Japanese and put in a brothel for the Japanese military to become a so-called comfort woman, a euphemism for military sex slaves. And so you live with this fear. I still have nightmares. I had one miscarriage in the brothel. I had three miscarriages afterwards, after I got married, because my body was just so broken and I had to have major surgery. I still live with the nightmares. When I draw the curtains at night in my living room and it's getting dark, this fear that I experienced in, in the brothel, this fear just consumes my whole body, even up to this day when I draw the curtains at night, because getting dark meant being raped over and over and over again. 